The final clash saw Everton go to the northeast to face Newcastle United. The previous year's beaten finalists, who'd lost to double winners Arsenal. The Toffees were aiming for their sixth triumph in the FA Cup to mark the inaugural season of Walter Smith's reign in style. The match would see local hero Alan Shearer lead his hometown club in their pursuit of their first major domestic trophy since winning this competition way back in 1955. A very good afternoon to you wherever you may be watching and I just hope that the weather is kinder to you than it is here at St James's Park. But the good news is that we have a game. Newcastle United against Everton. The FA Cup quarter-final is on. Tomori Ketsbaya is back in the starting 11 today. Fifth round cup hero Luis Saha, who got the winner in the replay at Blackburn, only makes the bench for this one to accommodate the debut of Silvio Maric, three and a half million pounds signing from Croatia Zagreb. He's the big story in this lineup. Maric says appearing in this FA Cup game is a dream come true for him. The eternal Dave Watson is the only survivor from Everton's FA Cup winning side of 1995. Everton hard hit by suspensions today. Olivia Dacour, Michael Ball and Richard Dunn all missing out. But Don Hutchison, a major success for Everton in this troubled season, is back following his suspension and Tony Grant has passed a fitness test. They're joined by John O'Kane. Everton haven't had a decade of struggle at first team level, but their youth system is one of the best in Britain. And up front today, teenage striking talents, Francis Jeffers and Danny Kadamatari hope to prove it. But there's no damping the passion in this part of the world when it comes to the FA Cup in particular. Listen to the roar now. One omen all Evertonians look to here when they won the cup in 95 against the odds. They beat Newcastle at this stage in the quarter-final at Goodison. The omen Newcastle fans prefer to remember. FA Cup round three only last season. Everton nil, Newcastle won. That set Newcastle on their road to Wembley. So how will Everton settle to the task here today? Forced into changes. Barnby was sharp for Everton. Definite signs of improvement in Everton's form in recent weeks. So too Newcastle, but too late surely on either side to make anything other than a respectable league finish. It's about cup success. Warren Barton for Newcastle. Norberto Solano. First touch for Alan Shearer. Little by little in recent weeks, in particular Newcastle, have started to look better organised, more like what Rue Hullet wants. That's a better jump from Ketsbaya, Shearer has time here. Maric starting down the left-hand side, Shearer fed him again. Dave Weir close to him. Gets by it. Maric once more, seeing plenty of it. Rob Lee. Barton makes the extra man. He loves to come forward from right back. Not his best cross, though. Lee with another chance. Good ball from him to Haman. Here's the shot. Well, as mentioned, suddenly Dieter Haman is starting to get forward from midfield more and more for Newcastle in recent weeks. And he has certainly found his shooting range, as David Seaman last week. <laughs> Lee out fought by Grant. He did well, Tony Grant for Everton. And good cover from Barton at just the right moment. This is a very good start by Everton away from home here, though. Shearer has been forced to do an awful lot of tracking back to his own half to get on it here. And Newcastle are struggling to reproduce the rhythm they've shown in recent weeks. Everton are, to coin that old phrase, dogging it out here away from home.
Karamatri penalised. Still only 19 years of age, Karamatri, but the senior man in that front partnership today. Everton winners of the FA Youth Cup last season, 1998. And there are plenty more where the likes of Karamatri and Jeffers have come from. Gets Bio with time to line one up. Oh, the deflection was critical. Not that Tamur, he's cuts by a cares a little bit. And Newcastle go in front right on 20 minutes. Mura had no chance. It may be against the run of play, but Newcastle and their fans do not care about that. Always has this potential from distance, but Mura could not recover himself when this shot is deflected. On such things, cut ties are won and lost. I think it was Matarazzi, the defender. And Mura, who is a magnificent athlete, couldn't quite twist his body back the other way in time on this occasion. Oh, he got close to it, but not close enough. And early in the second half, Silvio Matic's debut for Newcastle comes to a premature end. Signs of promise, no doubt. But we did suggest it the beginning of the afternoon that maybe he was short of true match fitness not the game to be found out in George Giordadis is on for him to shore up that left hand side of Newcastle's midfield <laughs> Kadamatri did well cross is too big though Barton made sure that Barmy couldn't make any inroad into the penalty area. But Everton are stretching Newcastle down both sides now. It's a good response since half time for the team who trail here. We're forward to make an extra man. Barton just put his foot through it, that's what Newcastle needed. Dave Watson to Matarazzi. They've done pretty well as a twosome today at the back for Everton for a side that for so long has played with three centre-halves. And the word from the Newcastle bench would confirm that Hullet and Newcastle not happy with the way this second half is shaping up for them. No injury to Maric, it's a tactical swap. I.e., Everton are getting on top and Newcastle have got to do something about it. Well, not much is happening for the home side here and you can sense the growing unease in the Newcastle fans. They've worked their way through midfield here pretty quickly. Hi oh yes! Dave Unsworth! This time the left foot was perfect. Everton level. How hard they've worked for it too. Shea Given did not get near it. It's all to play for here at St James's Park. He had a couple of direction finders. Look at the joy on the Everton bench. They worked so hard for this today. That time, Unsworth got everything right. They slice through the Newcastle midfield like a knife through butter. And when it just pops up here for Unsworth, he's pinged it into the top corner. A spectacular equaliser from a defender playing out of position, if you please. Dummy. Mirror couldn't quite get there. Here comes the Newcastle response and here comes the Jordan wall of noise again. Solano with this corner. 
Dabby's ass is forward. Hammer. Time to line one up. No. Too many blue shirts in the way. But Newcastle have won it back. Everton needed to tidy that up better than that. Rob Lee. Barnby got his foot in. Barton. Chip and chase. Materazzi's been dominant in the air today for Everton. Dummy for Newcastle. Everton have got a goal, but they're sitting back here. It's always a recipe for trouble. And Hutchison, tangled. On the edge of his own box, he's already been yellow carded. He's saying to Alan Shearer on the deck, you went over a bit easy there, Alan, but it's a Newcastle free kick. Well, there was a clear elbow in the face, and Alan Shearer was not acting, whatever Don Hutchison may say. Like I said, gives it and takes it, Shearer. Wouldn't it be just like him to drive this free kick into the net? Well, it won't be Shearer. It might be Solano or Hamann. It's Hamann. Oh, great strike. Newcastle get in front again. George Georgiadis. It's only the second time he's touched the ball. What a sweet moment for him. A bit part player in Newcastle United season may have put them into the FA Cup semi-final here. Well, I suppose if you're Rude Hullet, you say, hey, tactical masterstroke. Actually, it just popped up for him. He couldn't really have asked for any better. And in the act of falling over, he just pokes it over the line and with the help of a big deflection again. Barbie down to OK. Everton having a good little spell again here now. Grant to Hutchison. Is there an end product here from Everton? It's Katamatari. Newcastle sitting back, asking them to play their way through. Grant tried to little... Invented chip and chase over the top, no good. Matarazzi to start Everton all over again. Telegraph that one, but Everton get the throw. There's movement on the Everton bench. Bakayoko, as expected, is about to make his way out. So too John Oster, it would appear. Fresh legs, fresh forward legs. Everton must get a goal. How well Rob Lee did. Difficult man to knock off the ball in a tight area. And that skill has been much in evidence in this second half. Solano nicked it on to Shearer. Hammer. Newcastle have lifted it so much after a pretty ordinary first ten minutes to this second half. This is Giorgiadis. Did well. Gets by at. Magnificent! No deflection that time. They think it's going to be enough for a place in the FA Cup semi-final. Everton just stood off Tamori Ketsbaya for a moment. Magnificent strike. It's number three for Newcastle United, the scorer, number 14, Tamori Ketsbaya.
Murder could not stretch far enough. Here comes the cavalry in the shape of Bakayoko and John Oster. Katamartri and Jeffers, the youngsters who've given their all here up front for Everton, both make way and a pair of fresh strikers on. this time did well right off the top of Shearer's head Georgiadis deflected again probably the best cross they've had in from that right side all day Newcastle Dave Watson's flicked on header well it was traveling from the Greek just as well that we're got some of his body on it. Norberto Solano with the corner for Newcastle. Gets by. Barbie down to Matarazzi. Howie again in the right place at the right time for Newcastle. It does look as though that third Newcastle goal has been a body blow here for Everton. There are ten minutes remaining plus stoppage time. Didi Harman. Well, that sums it up, doesn't it? Newcastle are quite happy. They know they're almost there. But Everton have a free kick. Outstanding today, Hamann, the German international. Matarazzi. Barmby for Everton. It was a tired-looking attempted ball from Nicky Barmby. And they've got more defending on here. It's Ketsbaya, fed by Shearer. Is this the hat-trick for Ketsbaya? It still might be. Here comes Shearer. Newcastle United stride into the FA Cup semi-final. Alan Shearer on target. Number 14 of the season. Game set and match Newcastle with around 10 minutes left. Try keeping off the score sheet. Great work from Ketsbayer, who must have seen glory and a hat trick flashing in front of his eyes. Instead, he fed it to the skipper, and the skipper did the rest. Matarazzi may as well get it in there and see if Newcastle can give Everton something late on here but that was not accurate enough to put the home side under any trouble whatsoever injury time here Grant for Everton. Graham Barber draws a halt here at St James's Park. And Ruud Hullett and Newcastle United keep their season bubbling along nicely. Tamori Ketsbaya with a touch of international class finishing along with Alan Shearer swinging the game conclusively Newcastle United's way. It was an outstanding cup tie for an hour and more and an outstanding contest. Maybe Newcastle got lucky in terms of deflections when the ball ended up in the net, certainly in the case of Georgiadis' goal at a critical moment after his arrival as a substitute in the second period. But Newcastle at both ends of the field defensively, 
and up front and in the middle of midfield. Probably won the critical battles throughout the afternoon. Well, though, Everton acquitted themselves to the task. But no denying an emphatic Newcastle score. Everton have only league survival left to concentrate on. They are out of the FA Cup. Newcastle join Arsenal in the FA Cup semi-finals. And who's to say Newcastle may not yet prove good enough to go on and return to Wembley to put the record straight after last season's final disappointment. The quarter-final result from St James's Park, Newcastle United 4, Everton 1.